In this video, I'm going to show you some things you could do at home to ease the pain of osteoarthritis of the knee. The hallmark sign of osteoarthritis of the knee is knee stiffness upon waking in the morning. But then as your circulation gets going, as you get up and start moving around, you'll notice you'll be able to move your knee a little bit better, although it's still painful. Osteoarthritis is a progressive form of inflammatory arthritis. You get little tiny nicks in the cartilage that lines your knee. Now here's a model of a knee. First of all, uh, let me point out that it's a little bit misleading because this looks like a muscle. It is not a muscle. It is a tendon. It's the continuation of the quadriceps tendon. And it's a lot thinner than this, but very strong. And it embeds the patella, which is a sesamoid bone that sort of floats to protect the knee when it's, when it's bending. And it inserts into the tibial tuberosity, which is the lower part of your leg, your lower leg bone. Now the knee joint is comprised of the distal femur articulating with your proximal tibia. When you bend your knee, you'll see what are called the condyles of the distal femur. This is where the cartilage is present. Cartilage is very, very smooth, almost frictionless rubbery material. What happens in osteoarthritis is you get little tiny nicks, little cracks, little tiny tears in the cartilage. And with further movement, those cracks tend to expand and grow larger. It's very much like when you're on the freeway and a truck in front of you kicks up a little tiny pebble and puts a little tiny crack in your windshield. As you drive your car and go over bumps, and potholes and things like that, that vibration causes that little crack in your windshield to expand and that little tiny crack could grow into a very long crack and eventually you have to replace your windshield. So osteoarthritis is very much like that. It's progressive. So if you have early stage osteoarthritis, your best strategy is to arrest the progression of it by doing uh, exercises, stretches, and various things, including the procedure that I'm about to show you. So it's important that you know what the anatomy looks like in different positions of the knee because that affects the therapy that you do on it. So when you're standing straight, when your knee is straight, this is the exposure you have. This is the back of your knee. You can see there's a nice uh, exposure of the femoral condyles here. One thing I forgot to mention is that there's a fat pad and of course the skin, the epidermis. So you could expect another layer of tissue that your therapy has to penetrate to access the cartilage. So from the back, there's a lot here. In the front, what do you have? If your knee's straight, your patella is in the way. What you want to do is bend it. You bend your knee like this, 90 degrees and even past. You'll notice the patella rides upwards. You could, you could even feel it when you bend your knee. So it gets out of the way somewhat. Look how much of the cartilage it exposes when you bend your knee. So here are two therapeutic modalities that you can do to help re not only reduce the pain of osteoarthritis, but to arrest its progression. Obviously, if you have early stage, like little, maybe little tiny nicks, these techniques will be more successful. If you're advanced, then these techniques I'm about to show you will be more palliative in nature. Pulse DMF is the external application of electromagnetic fields to injured or sick tissues. These devices produce a magnetic field similar in characteristics to those that are naturally produced by your body. And the theory is that when you're sick or injured, when tissues are injured, that magnetic field is, is hampered, it's disrupted. So if you apply an external field to it, that's strong enough to penetrate, it sort of recharges that tissue and increases a membrane transport and does all kinds of good things. So you're gonna do this first then you're gonna follow it up with red light therapy because pulse DMF increases the therapeutic effect of other modalities like red light therapy and even taking medications may be helped with pulse DMF because it increases the efficiency of your cells. When I plug it in, you'll hear a sound. That's just the ready sound. This one is called the uh, megaphone. It uses acoustics, which is white sound that is basically a pressure wave that goes in your cells, it's at a frequency and it shakes it mechanically somewhat. In the center is the coil that emanates the magnetic field that goes into your cartilage, into your knee. Now, I should mention that cartilage doesn't have very many active cells in it. 
cartilage, tendons, ligaments, these connective tissues are mostly very strong uh, matrix. The cells inside them can be mobilized to repair small injuries, but for the most part they're suspended in the cartilage matrix and they're there just to do maintenance. Okay, these are called chondrocytes. Chondrocytes are the cartilage secreting cells. And we're going to try to activate them with the pulse DMF. Again, you can the noise, bend your knee, press it there, and just relax. Okay? Use a red light therapy handheld device or torch. And I've made videos on this before. Very powerful red light therapy is therapeutic red wavelengths. This has both red light and infrared. It's powerful enough to go through the fat pad and the ligament, the patellar ligament. Sit in a comfortable chair, bend your knee like I mentioned. Gets, you can feel that patella get out the way and you just press into it like this and hold it there for five minutes. If you feel pain in one particular spot, that's where you want to put it. It could be that you have one of the bigger tears there. Don't be afraid to push it in past that fat pad. Just press the fat out the way. Get that red light closer to the cartilage. Hold it in place for a few minutes. The other device is the 120 LED red light pad has an array of 120 of these circuits that have three LEDs in them. Two that emit 660 nanometer red and two that emit 850 near infrared, which means it generates heat. Just know that the emitters aren't as powerful, but there's more of them. This is designed to cover a lar larger areas like the low back, a shoulder. You can use it for your knee as well. It comes with this elastic band that you can use to hold it in place. And let me show you how to do that for the knee. The secret is to get two large paper clips. Take your elastic band, it's gonna come like this. What I'd like you to do is position it so about that much is on that end. And then bend the other half like this. So it's about like that. Then you're gonna take your two paper clips and make sure you don't damage these little circuits. So put it on so that the paper clips are between them like this. Looks like this. And this is what I mean to avoid those little chips because you, you, you may be able to damage them if you put the paper clip on top of it. When you press the button, it activates all the LEDs. So bend your knee. You can put some pressure so it pulls down on it somewhat. And then it holds it there to your knee and leave it there for about 20 minutes.